Hey everybody, Spike here. Sunday morning, uh, 17th February. And just pulling in out here at the garden. I know some people are asking about the size of this site here. Anyways, uh, my buddy owns 10 and a half acres here. And I think you can dig anywhere on this 10 and a half acres and find arrowheads. And the uh, property line going to the north here ends right there that no trespassing sign but all that down through there is awesome awesome digging and my buddy's sister owns that and she used to let us dig over there but a bunch of trespassers and stuff went in there and dug the hell out of it and made a mess and pissed her off so now she don't want anybody over there well anyways this this site sets up on top of a ridge I mean they're just there's flint everywhere here you can't put a shovel in the ground and not dig up material well dozer piles there that's where the copperheads about got me there last year I dug up several oil heads in there anyways right here all that grass right there that used to be the garden that's why we call it the garden and the house set down here to the south there that used to be this used to be the garden and uh, as far as the how many sedalias and how many arrowheads have come out of here it's it's unbelievable I'm thousands maybe ten thousand that's not an exaggeration. Of course, we got the old dump here. Supposed to maybe try to clean this place up a little bit today. I don't know if we're going to get around to it or not. There's the old root cellar. I personally dug over a hundred arrowheads just out of the front of this root cellar right there. It's crazy. Because whenever they built that root cellar, they just piled this dirt up around it and it's just loaded with arrowheads. They just pushed the arrowheads right up on in there. They didn't care about them. And uh, I dug a hundred of them out of the front. I don't know how many over here on this west side and one on the east side. <laughs> one arrowhead. And of course, here's the old house foundation where we've been digging for the last month. It's crazy how much stuff's come out of there. But anyways, I'm just giving you guys a quick, quick overview here of what this place looked like. And uh, hope everybody has good luck doing what they're doing and hopefully we'll be getting back with you several times today. Later.